And we're live. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel, and check out our website, fellowshipofjoy.ca. Yes, we could definitely use the subscriptions on the YouTube channel. And don't don't forget to smash that like button. And the bell back beside the subscribe button once you touch it. So don't forget to make sure post notifications are on. All right, we're going to finish up Judges chapter 11 this evening. We're going to find out the king of Ammon's response to Jephthah. The king of Ammon, however, paid no attention to the messenger Jephthah had sent to him. Then the spirit of the Lord came on Jephthah. He crossed Gilead and Manasseh, passed through Mizpah and Gilead, and from there he advanced against the Ammonites. And Jephthah made a vow to the Lord. If you give the Ammonites into my hand, whatever comes out of the door of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites will be the Lord's, and I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. Then Jephthah went over to fight the Ammonites, and the Lord gave him into his hands. And he devastated twenty towns from Aor to the vicinity of Mineth, as far as Abel Kerman. Thus Israel subdued Ammon. When Jephthah returned to his home in Mizpah, who should come out to meet him but his daughter, dancing to the sound of the timorous? She was only a child. Except for her, he had neither son nor daughter. When he saw her, he tore his clothes and cried, O oh, no, my daughter, what? And you have brought me down, and I am devastated. I have made a vow to the Lord that I cannot break. My father, she replied, you have given your word to the Lord. Do to me just as you promised. Now that the Lord has avenged you, of your enemies, the Ammonites. But grant me this one request, she said. Give me two months to roam the hills and weep with my friends, because I will never marry. You may go, he said, and he let her go for two months, and she and her friends went to the hills and wept that she would never marry. After two months, she returned to her father, and he did as he had vowed, and she was a virgin. From this comes the Israelite tradition that each year the young women of Israel go out for four days to commemorate the daughter of Jephthah, the Gileadite. Any questions about that? No. Seriously? I don't know my name. I'll call it more for the time. Because this was, remember, like three days ago, we talked about a lot of controversy. Well, this is it. Maybe, maybe the, uh, the viewers will have questions. Mm -hmm. that, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I... Alright, any prayer requests? No. Do you have any? No. Alright, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you that you no longer require sacrifice because you are the sacrifice. We pray that when we make our vows, we don't make rash vows and then we always keep them. We thank you for traditions and we thank you for your love. So we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy.